What's up guys and welcome back to the channel where in today's video I will be sharing my predictions on Darth Vader's role in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Now we already know that Darth Vader is going to play what seems to be a rather sizable role in this show and I know there are plenty of plot leaks, some probably more accurate than others, that would tell you everything you want to know about this series but as I have said in the past, I do my best to avoid spoilers, I don't want to know what's going to happen, I'm trying to go in as blind as I possibly can while still enjoying the the promotional materials and being exposed to the hype surrounding the show. And that is a very fine line to walk, but I just say that to let you guys know that this video is not going to have confirmed spoilers, aside from what's been officially announced or shown to us by Lucasfilm. This is just a speculative video where I predict what I think may happen, so if you like to get into the predictions without actually knowing what's going to happen, then you've come to the right place. So my first prediction, and this one is really more of a wish actually, is that we will see Darth Vader training the Inquisitors. Now the reason I think this is something that we could see happen is that the Inquisitors do work for Darth Vader. He doesn't claim them as apprentices, but he is essentially their master. He's the one who they ultimately answer to, and he is also the one responsible for their training. Under the wishes of his master, Darth Vader trained each Inquisitor in the ways of the dark side. And so given that information, it's not unreasonable to think that we could get some sort of training sequence between Vader and his Inquisitors. Hayden Christensen himself has teased a very powerful Lord Vader in the Kenobi series, and one way in which this power could be displayed is by presenting Vader as the leader of these powerful beings, and then showing Vader's utter dominance over them. Another creator who worked on the show previously said that Darth Vader was going to be very angry in this series, and so allowing Vader to display some rage and ruthlessness toward his Inquisitors, perhaps going as far as injuring or even killing them, which are both things we know he did do, would put both his anger and his devastating power on display. Now this next prediction I have about the series pertains to something that we already know is going to happen. What I'm going to do is speculate about the nature in which this event will take place. So as many of you know, Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi are said to engage in what has been dubbed the rematch of the century by Kathleen Kennedy. And I have talked in the past about the possibility of this duel taking place in the form of a dream or a nightmare sequence on behalf of Obi-Wan and or Darth Vader. So I'm not saying that the duel is going to take place in a real face to face encounter, but I want to talk about that possibility. We know that the Inquisitors have been assigned to find Obi-Wan Kenobi, at least that certainly seems to be the case based on the trailer, and that definitely makes sense considering Vader knows Obi-Wan is alive and would want to find him more than he wants to find any other Jedi in the galaxy. So with that in mind, I think it's possible that we will see Obi-Wan leave Tatooine, which is also something that has been all but confirmed by the trailer and by the official synopsis, and then while he's out on this adventure, in one way or another, he will run into Darth Vader. Maybe he's captured by the Inquisitors, maybe Vader takes matters into his own hands and tracks Obi-Wan down, or maybe Obi-Wan goes looking for Vader for some reason, and then we get our rematch. Now in the past, we have discussed how a duel between Vader and Obi-Wan could break the current continuity, but I have also touched on the fact that that's not necessarily the case, and here's why. In episode 4, when Vader and Obi-Wan encounter one another on the Death Star, Vader says, When I left you, I was but the learner, now I am the master. But in episode 3, that's not what happens. Vader does not leave Obi-Wan at all. It's the exact opposite, actually. It's Obi-Wan, in fact, who leaves Vader behind after severing his limbs and leaving him on Mustafar. And while it's possible that Vader was referring to his walking away from the Jedi Order rather than him specifically walking away from Kenobi, the possibility remains that the two did actually fight again. Recall also in episode 4, A New Hope, when Vader first feels the presence of his old master, he acknowledges that he senses something he has not felt in a long time, but he does not specify when that time was, as he never finishes his statement, again leaving the definitive time in which their last encounter took place more ambiguous than we have come to assume in recent years. Now previously we discussed how there was no indication of Kenobi leaving Tatooine between the events of Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope, and that made it seem pretty difficult to pull off another duel between these characters, since Vader didn't know that Obi-Wan was on Tatooine, of course. But since it now looks like Obi-Wan is almost certainly going to be leaving Tatooine for at least a little while, that counter-argument is gone as well. 
Now again, I'm not taking a definitive stance on either side of this because I don't really know which way I think things are going to go. I used to think there was little to no chance they would have a real physical duel. Now I think it's more like 50-50. I understand that it could potentially break continuity, but I also don't think that's necessarily going to be the case just because they do fight again. And I mean, honestly, as long as it does fit in story-wise, I would rather see an actual duel. I'm definitely surprised that this is happening at all, and I'll still be surprised if they do really fight in the flesh, but I'm open to it for sure. I'm always open to seeing how things actually play out before I decide to pass judgment on them. Either way though, whether it's a real duel or a nightmare of some sort, or even if by some chance this big duel didn't happen at all, Darth Vader's presence is certainly going to loom large over this story, and the ramifications of Obi-Wan's failure to train him and to finish the job on Mustafar in Revenge of the Sith are probably going to weigh very heavily on his mind. But that is going to wrap things up for this video, so let me know what your guys' hopes are for the Kenobi series at this point, now that we have a bit of a better sense of where this series may be heading. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to drop a like to support the channel, subscribe to the channel if you are new, have a wonderful day wherever you may be, and of course, may the Force be with you, always.